Hey, hello to all. Uh, welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community. In this video, basically, we are going to learn about Azure penetration testing, how to hack Azure, and our objective is to understand Azure hacking mind map. So we will be going to decode, okay, like Azure mind map, and based on the mind map, okay, you will be able to hack Azure, and everything we are going to learn in detail, okay, like how basically you will apply that particular phases and try to perform a penetration test on the specific platform called azure so when you talk about azure where we have basically two things one is basically azure ad and second is basically azure itself okay like all services are available there right so in order to understand this part okay let me just go to first azure portal so this is basically my azure portal let's go to the portal.azure.com so this is the azure portal let's go here and remove the things so this is the azure portal now you can simply go to this account so this i'm talking about okay suppose i want to perform a penetration test on this particular platform so how i can start basically what exactly is the procedure okay how many phases i need to implement so everything okay we are going to decode okay under this particular video so stay tuned with me so you can see clearly this is the section and if you see this is basically azure active directory so when you go to directory okay you will see all the information available here like user group external identities roles administration okay administrative units and many other right this is basically cloud active directory and you know is excellent okay in the terms of security authentication as well as authorization now how to hack that part what exactly is the mind map for that right that exactly might be you have a question so basically here you can go to the discord server so if you didn't join the discord server you can simply go to the hacker associate website which is here and here you can see there's a discord button here okay you can simply click on the discord button you are connected okay to my a website and here you go uh, this is my official channel and under the particular group called offensive cloud penetration testing you can see this is ocpt corporate group right so this is basically i generally uh, teach um, offensive cloud penetration testing this is my famous program by the way so basically they are okay like i teach everything uh, regarding to the azure azure ad attack on prem attack multi cloud penetration testing in detail manner right so that part will discuss later stage but right now i'm going to show you the mind map so this is the mind map right exactly this mind map you need to follow when you are basically performing a penetration testing so if you just see this particular part we can see the first part as we know we have a reconnaissance so there are total four phases are there in order to exploit any target number one phase uh, information gathering second phase is vulnerability assessment third phase is uh, payload and fourth is exploitation and the same phase is this is basically my design and i have written two books on that basically one is offensive application attack and security second is offensive is sniffing okay so for more information you can uh, basically mail me or you can write in the comment section so when you talk about azure again uh, basically this is completely a mind map okay in order to you know perform a exploitation on a specific platform uh, we call it an azure so the first basically phase we call it a reconnaissance uh, where okay we'll identify you know uh, like uh, domains users tenant domain login information if you don't have any information regarding user okay like how to start it how to basically you know uh, basically perform penetration test if you don't have any credential by the way available there so kind of blackhead approach okay like how to apply it that part basically we are discussing under this area this is called reconnaissance second uh, part basically we have called initial access right it's very very important okay like uh, how to enumerate based on enumeration how to how we can get the initial access how to get the initial access it is very very important once we have initial access then what we can do next so under the initial access phase okay we have a brute force via ov o w a then brute force e w s uh, brute force oauth brute force uh, via ad sign in form and so on if you go phishing uh, emails golden saml attack uh, multi factor authentication bypass via imap and pop3 that is basically called traditional protocol right or we can say legacy protocol uh, PTA skeleton key, uh, compromise Azure AD account, pass the ticket, pass the PRT, and this even uh, lot of videos already available okay under my YouTube channel. You can have a look into this, like how to perform enumeration basically called Cloud Recon and how to implement pass the PRT attack. Right, this is one of the great attack okay like my favorite, and uh, you will get basically uh, video okay on my YouTube channel. Pass the cert, compromise valid account, and then in the next phase okay we have a discovery. In the discovery again okay like we try to innovate other tenant when we are inside it 
and then basically we look for other tech like pass the PRT, pass the CERT, enumerate application and many things. So you can see clearly uh, once uh, basically we have uh, example let's say we have a platform. Uh, once we know the platform okay we need to enumerate basically information gathering once we identify uh, the proper information uh, and then we basically look for initial access once we get initial access okay then okay we look for vulnerability as well plus we'll basically try to you know perform privilege escalation from one account because we have initial access right so we we'll basically perform a discovery once the discovery is done okay then we move to the action area this is another phase by the way in action area the main main attack if you want to you know see that is basically called access azure subscription execution of script on azure vm uh, dos azure ad in person user downgrade license change mfa app settings and many other after that once we basically move laterally uh, we need to basically you know uh, make a persistent connection right so if user change the password or maybe if user implement mfa or every day he changing the password in that situation how you can basically plant a backdoor inside that particular infrastructure and how you will be able to access his account for a longer time and that exactly we call it the dwell time means how you will increase the dwell time that exactly is the thing okay we need to discuss right that is called persistent attack here okay like the main attacks are application proxy c2 abusing identity federation execution of script on azure vms these are the main attack and then other attack basically called backdooring concept and so on right that exactly like we are learning in our uh, popular program called offensive cloud penetration testing and that okay exactly you can check on google on website called hackerassociate.com so if you are new you can please go ahead and you can check okay like offensive cloud penetration testing program here we are covering everything in detail it is basically a multi cloud penetration testing but here in this video we are talking about azure mind map this is exactly the mind map and if you want to learn all the tech okay you can join ocbt program so this is all i want to share okay in this particular video i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead and happy weekend ahead thank you